is Sabri Kumar and today I would like to talk about light. As we know, light is also a form of wave besides sound wave and water wave. And today we would like to study about the effect of interference on light waves by comparing the Young's double slit formula. So we are going to conduct an experiment to investigate the relationship between the distance from the light source to the screen which is D and the free spacing which is X. And in this experiment the concept of interference of waves is applied. We continue this video by setting up the apparatus needed for the experiment. Okay, the first apparatus that we need is a white and four paper like this. Then we stick the F4 paper to the wall. This F4 paper is used as the screen for the experiment. The next thing that we need is a laser that has been set up by my friends. We take this laser and 
put it on on this book and don't forget to like it on and to make sure the light rays from the laser reach the screen and then in this experiment we need to set up the distance between the screen and the laser as the manipulated variables First, place the laser pen 10 cm away from the screen on the desk between two bright fringes for 10 cm. Zero point five cm. Since the distance is manipulated variable, we have to change it into twenty cm away from the screen. the light again and now we will calculate the distance between two bright fringes for 20 cm one centimeter Okay, Kuma, please turn off the light. And lastly, we will calculate the distance between two fringes for 30 cm. One point five centimeters. One point five centimeters. Hi guys, my name is Amirul Ashraf, and I have just jotted down the result of the experiment in a piece of paper. Okay, as you can see that. The distance between the light source and the screen is 10 cm. The fringe spacing will obtain 0 0.5 cm. Why? The distance between the laser uh, beam and the screen is 20 cm. The fringe spacing uh, obtained will 1.0 cm. And lastly, the distance between the laser beam and the screen is 30 cm the fringe spacing will obtain 1.5 cm so we, we can conclude that the as the d increases the x will increases so right now we will compare the result with yang's double slit formula the formula is lambda equal to ax over d as we know So, X and D will 
proves that the Young's double slit formula is proven. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask us. Bye! Bye.